서울 디지털 포럼 오픈 거버먼트 섹션에 참여하는 제임스 가드너. 그가 가장 강조하는 것은 혁신입니다. 네, 저희는요. 지금 서울 디지털 포럼에 참석하신 제 옆에 계신 제임스 가드너 만나보도록 하겠습니다. 안녕하세요. Hello. Hello. So this might be a big question for the first questions, but what is your definition of innovation? That is such an excellent question. And yeah. you know, every company I talk to has a very different definition of that. Mm -hmm. Some people think innovation is all about creating stuff which is breakthrough, genuinely new. Mm -hmm. And other people imagine it's doing small incremental things that improve. Mm -hmm. I don't really think those definitions fully describe what is really possible. Right. I prefer to say innovation is anything that your company isn't presently doing oh. is innovation. And so it can encompass all of those things. Mm. And when you organize with that definition, people seem to get a lot more done. Ah, all right. Why do we need uh, the open government? What are the critical factors for it to get successful results? Well, I think that the relationship of citizens to government is changing. Mm -hmm. People aren't willing to have their governments make decisions for them without their active participation. So governments, particularly my own in the UK and elsewhere, have decided to investigate how they can allow citizens to participate more clearly. Mm -hmm. This is a big challenge. Sure. In the United Kingdom, we have this thing called e-petition, electronic petition. Uh -huh. e and the idea is that if you have a certain number of thousands of people who partition the government with this website, mm -hmm. then whatever they're talking about will be debated by government. Mm -hmm. Well, government has decided that, for example, the death penalty mm -hmm. is a very bad thing. True, true. But what if 10,000 people say we want to debate on the death penalty? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it can be both challenging and a blessing, I think. Okay, okay. What are the key success factors? Well. Number one is that there be some e-government. Mm -hmm. This is new for many things. Mm -hmm. And number two is that when citizens speak, there is an opportunity for there to be action that results. Mm -hmm. All right. How they can, as an IT experts, how they can contribute to an open government? Once government starts to publish data mm -hmm. and make interfaces to its core services available, that's not enough for citizens to get actually involved because the general citizen doesn't have the expertise to turn data True. and programming interfaces mm -hmm. into things. So the IT community has a huge role in making those government services valuable and useful mm -hmm. to the community as a whole. What can the government do? We ask you the questions already though. Well, you know, the thing mm -hmm. about breakthroughs mm -hmm. and innovation in general is everyone imagines that if you do something the first and that it is going to be an unprecedented new thing mm -hmm. that you have a better than average chance of making lots of money. Mm -hmm. This is this idea of the first mover advantage. Well, actually, if you look through the last decade or so, mm -hmm. most of the big consumer product hits have not been first. Mm -hmm. They haven't even been that new. True. And so mm -hmm. the advice for innovators, government or otherwise, mm -hmm. is, well, most of what you need mm -hmm. to be very successful commercially already exists. Uh -huh. So Why don't it? invent uh -huh. stuff. Use what already exists and bring it to the play to the market, and you have a better chance of getting good results. That's a very good point. 네 지금까지 서울 디지털 포럼에 참가하신 영국 스페이스의 최고 전략 책임자이신 제임스 가드너를 만나봤습니다. 감사합니다. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. A pleasure.